Now let us consider this reaction. So we have a ester and we have a ketone. This reaction is very similar to Claisen condensation. Ketone has a alpha hydrogen that is acidic. that is acidic so first step we will have acid base reaction So ethoxide ion will act as a base and it will take a proton from ketone and finally we will generate a enolate ion. This enolate ion is resonance stabilized. In the next step, we have nucleophilic attack by enolate ion. So we have ester. and we have enolate ion. So nucleophilic attack gives addition product and finally we will have loss of a leaving group. So final product is a diketone. This has two ketone group. Basically medium is basic. So we will have acid base reaction. and we will get salt of diketone. So final product is salt of diketone. And if this salt is acidified, so we have acidification. Finally we will have a diketone.
Now let us consider this reaction. Ethyl alcohol is the solvent and the second step we have acidification. So, let us write product. So, we have a ester that has no alpha hydrogen and this is a ketone that has alpha hydrogen. So, once again first step is acid base reaction and we will generate enolate ion. Second step is nucleophilic attack by the enolate ion. And finally, we will have loss of a leaving group. Since the medium is basic, we will have salt as the final product. upon acidification we will have corresponding product this product on hydrolysis So, we can do hydrolysis. In that case, final product is acid. Now, let us predict the product for the following reaction. Ethyl alcohol is the medium and the next step we have acidification. So, we have to write product. So, this is a ester and this is again ester. This ester has no alpha hydrogen. and this ester has alpha hydrogen. This reaction is basically cross cleysin. and mechanism is very similar in the first step we will generate carb anion. and this carbonyl will attack on this ester. So, next step we have nucleophilic attack in the next step we will have loss of a leaving group. and we will have this product.
since the medium is basic we will get the salt of corresponding product if we do acidification finally we will have neutral product Now if we do hydrolysis, we will have corresponding acid. So let us break bond from here and we can do hydrolysis of this ester. So we will have acid. Now this is a beta keto acid. So if this acid is heated, it will easily decarboxylate. And finally we will have this product. So this is a alpha keto acid. So final product is a alpha keto acid. 